I don't know if this is going to come off well, but that's the game that pissed me off more. And it's weird. They had 38 shots. Chicago only had 20, but I still went through that game. And like, even with 38 shots on goal, I didn't feel like they were overly dangerous or dominant. Like, it was just a very vanilla attack from the Edmonton Oilers. They weren't dicing through the Blackhawks and making all these crazy plays. It's not like they ran into a super hot goalie on the other side. I thought Peter Morazic was just fine. And then at the other end, it was like, okay. Well, save give- percentage would suggest he was very good. Well, yeah. But again, like eye test wise, I did not look at Morazic and be like, whoa, he, he seemed- stole that one. No, like, he seemed I- pretty solid. Yeah, I thought he actually did really well. Yeah. He made that big save on Derek Ryan. Yeah. Breakaway stop. Break. Uh, or whatever. No, it wasn't a breakaway. It was when like Perry, uh, Pod Colson kind of slotted it through and Ryan tried to go back to one okay, and yeah, he yeah. saved it. Dry saddle hit the post. They had some really good chances early and then it just seemed like, and it was similar on Sunday too, like once the Blackhawks yeah. got that second goal, it would have been, it's just like they kind of lost the fight but, a little bit. Yeah. And they emotionally check out. Yeah, yeah. It's weird. I just, again, it, and because it's Chicago, but I know Calgary is also not good. So like they both pissed me off. The, the whole weekend was very angry. And and I guess you could look at the Chicago game, the Oilers, uh, high danger Corsi events, 13 to one at five on five in favor of the Oilers. Sure. But like giving up five goals to the Chicago Blackhawks is it's unacceptable, man. That team is, I was, I was thinking maybe they would have a decent year after watching them on Saturday, even though they beat the Oilers five 2 I'm like, boy, that team is bad. Yeah. They only had seven road wins last season. Only got one oh, now. On the way. <laughs> well, yeah. on the way. Yeah, it's just. Which game, which game pissed you off more? Um, honestly, s- Sunday. Really? Because I think they got good goaltending. They were giving it to uh, Calgary in moments. And then as soon as Rasmus Anderson scored that goal, they just decided they didn't want to play anymore. Yeah, we're going to. I thought that was pretty, pretty bad effort, to be honest, the, after a while. Yeah, it's the checking. It's the. The foot off the gas is kind of games get off the rails. But I also, I find, I feel like they're also trying too hard. I feel yes. like there's, a, I think they, I think mentally they've got a lot of pressure. They put a lot of pressure on themselves and I feel like they're trying to do too much. Like one extra pass, like just, to, you know, getting away from basics. And yes, we, like those are pretty damning and favorable uh, advanced stats to suggest that hey fuck they're they're shit hot, but I just feel like they're for like Bush can't get a puck through right now and he's been brutal he's, he's struggling but it, it, it's, but I I think I just think it's the pressure of coming out of the season that was that was super successful and one win away to now translating that into another run this season I just I like no one's like a lot of people aren't acting normal right now and they're trying to do things they don't normally do or they're not getting the same results that they normally do because maybe they're just gripping the stick too tight or just there's just there's just something there that they need to kind of have a smudge and get out of their psyche uh and they'll get the season back on the rails but right now we're living in it right now and it's fun yeah i think it's pretty ironic and i don't disagree jay that they do seem to be putting themselves under all this pressure it's like mm-hmm. you shouldn't feel any pressure you just went to Stanley Cup final, we're down three nothing. You're back against the wall for four games in a row, and you still managed to force it all the way with all that pressure that you're down and. But you're in it, like because like once you get this, but like so they're not in it yet. Like once they once they break through that and they're in the season, yeah. Then that kind of like mental bubble around that stuff forms and it doesn't creep in, and they're just like in the moment. It's it's like when any like like if you're public speaking, you're so fucking nervous. To start it, and then you start getting into it, and you're like, okay, I'm into it. Mm-hmm. But like everything up until that point is her- horrific, like like and, yeah. and horrifying. And I feel like like they're in that kind of state. Like I'm not like it, it's hard to be super critical of them right now, seeing a lot of things you don't like. But we know they're a better team. And I think too, you look at the things you don't like, and the biggest thing you don't like is the fact the top six just isn't playing well at all which Once is again, obviously going to change arguably the one of the best top six in the league yeah, so like totally. that's going to change yeah yeah i push back a little bit on the idea that they're crumbling under some sort of pressure to me it looks like a team that 
maybe it's not crumbling under pressure. It's like I want to be clear about that. So then explain that a little bit like more because I, to me it looks they've looked very lazy. They've, they've been proven, cheating for offense. Yeah, I know it's it's because they're not in it yet. There's just something. There's there's two things happening. I think they're trying to do too much because of they're feeling the pressure to perform, but also at the same time, I th- I feel like they think now maybe because of the success, they feel like things might be given to them and not earned. Like it's it's a multitude of things I believe that are all kind of culminating into what we're seeing. Also, we finished second place last year, and teams are like that. Like the teams are showing up and they're skating hard. Like Calgary played hard. I'm also noticing that we are getting way out physical right now yeah way out physical right now which is also a thing but like that's teams like coming up to take a shot at the the number two yeah you're gonna get every team's best i i, I there's no doubt about that it's but Al- it's you know it's it's alabama versus vanderbilt yeah i just the frustrating thing for me is with the skill guys not look or looking as just flat out brutal as they have Hyman has not been good. Yeah. Ryan Nugent Hopkins, I have not noticed him make one quality play through nine periods of hockey. Connor McDavid's had some nice rushes, but he doesn't look like himself. Leon Drysaddle now, do you, okay? I got the I one to, goal, and yeah. to me, this reeks of a group who thought it was going to be easy and didn't That's take fine. the preseason seriously enough because they thought it was going to be easy and came into this year and thought, well, yeah, we went to the Stanley Cup last year. We went to seven games against the Florida Panthers. They're a damn good hockey team. We're a damn good hockey team. We just got to show up and do our thing. And as long as our feet are on the ice, pucks are going to be going in for us. Like, and they, I, I, they aren't struggle, working. I struggle to think that that's how they're thinking, though. They make room on the shelf for the sixth cup. And w- once again, maybe like that could be viewed two different ways. But I think it's to like keep them hungry. It's just things aren't connected. Right. Do you think for all the things you just said about all those individuals, those players, you think that's who they're going to be for 82 games? No, I don't think think that's who they're going to be. They're going to snap out of it eventually. Yes. I would also say, like, again, last year, everyone goes, well, they went 2-9-1, and and then, look, they turned it around. I think You You don't want them to repeat that. No, no, no. And I also think you need to be careful with how they climbed out of that hole last year because they did fire a coach. And also, they went on a near NHL record winning streak last season. But they also didn't need it. Once the season, like, if you wrap up the season, they they didn't need to go on a record level. To get into the playoffs, no, yeah, and, and like they they oh they 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 just went like super ham and over index in the second half. Yeah, and they they finished with 104 points, and you know there was still only six points separating them from the eight seed in the West, though, mm-hmm. right? Like, I I and I do think the West is going to be a lot tighter this year because some of those bottom feeders are going to come yep. up a little bit. Um, also shout out to Lance who, as he's done every <laughs> single show this season, has paid two dollars to say cup year in the YouTube chat. So thank you, Lance, for the comment. Um, but anyways. I, it is very hard to win. Very few teams will win 10 games in a row all year. Never mind 16 games in a row, right? Yep. So I just think people need to be a little bit careful in the, and I think it'll be a trend the same way people talk about the St. Louis Blues from their Stanley Cup yeah. year. Or like, you know, any time a good team's in last place, they just go, oh, the Blues were in last and they turned it around. Yeah, you can't and rinse that, and repeat it. You but can't. I'm just saying it's, there's, there's a lot of, yeah, there's, like, if if they're zero and ten, we're having a different discussion. Yeah, yeah, totally. But it's it's weird right now, and we and and last year is different than this year because last year we thought we had a team like that had a chance to make a splash this year, but we had just hadn't quite seen it yet, mm-hmm. and that really put us in a tailspin for them to start like that mm-hmm. to really kind of get our doubts going. I don't think now is the time to have doubts enter our mind. What's up, Nation citizens? If you like that video, then you need to be subscribed to the Oilers Nation YouTube. Podcasts, live shows, exclusive interviews and analysis, everything you need from your favorite voices at Oilers Nation. And you don't want to miss any of it, so hammer that subscribe button.